Hello everyone and welcome to Ballads and Bards Bookhouse's YouTube channel. I am CA Watts and this is the video for uploading to Google Books. Now very few uh, mass ebook retailers or uh, aggregates as they're called um, will upload to Google Books. So you need to make sure that you do it yourself. So once you create, um, you use your regular Gmail account to set up a partner center account in Google Play, you are then uh, sent to your book catalog. And from there, you are able to uh, add new books. So you can see that both Valeria and The Better To Eat You With are available. We are selling a Google Play. You're selling our ebook on Google Play. And we need to enter our ISBN to get started. So we get onto our Thorpe Boker account, go to our digital or online copy because anyone who knows ISBNs knows that you need a different one for each format of your book. So if you have a hardcover, a paperback, an audiobook, and an ebook, all four of those formats would require its own ISBN. So we've got to put our ebook ISBN into the field and save and continue. Now, about the book, it is Matara. Our description, Rogue and Ranger Return, just like we did for our draft to digital upload. There is quite some time between now and uh, the publication date. So I'm just putting in basically placeholder information for now just for the sake of showing you guys how it's done. Now your on sale date is similar to your publication date, but um, basically if your, your publication date is the very first date that your book has ever been made available. So if you have uploaded your book any has already been for sale elsewhere, then you'll put the publication date as the very first date you ever uploaded it and made it available ever. Whereas the on sale date is specifically the date that Google will make it available. Now it is format. Oh, actually I don't even know the page count. That was putting in a random page count just for the sake of Filling in the box. The series is the Ventura series. It is book number two. Minimum age. Oh, let's put maybe five. I don't even know whether or not we need an age range in there. Related books. So if there are other ISBNs that are associated with this book, then enter them here. So if that was mm. so this wouldn't include I thought maybe we might add Valeria to this as being a part of the same series but um, it's just asking um, whether or not it is uh, like say you made an activity book to go with your book then uh, that is how it would be a related content book. Genres. So we know we have fantasy. In this case, we are going down to young adult fantasy general. Then we're going to add a genre. And we are again going to action.
young adult action and adventure genre general the same genres that we put for um draft to digital now what happens when i put in ocean creatures oh no see whether or not we can find anything else uh relevant to matara Young adult fiction, people and places, Australia and Oceania? No. So we're going to get rid of that one. There's nothing relevant for us. Your genre selection will be all, all important, so make sure that you are including uh, everything that um, is absolutely relevant to your book and nothing that's irrelevant. Otherwise, it provides a poor customer experience and a lot of platforms that uh, sell content such as this do not like that. Now we have a number of contributors such as uh, Kozakura, our incredible cover design. I think it just needs to be put under Illustrator for that. And so you add all of the contributors and um, their biographies for the sake of showing, um, giving credit for other people's work. Now, I imply the DRM encryption because it prevents people from copying or printing your work or sharing your work. I also have my preview limit set to 20% because it's recommended and the copy paste limit zero. Now, again, these are all personal preferences. So it all comes down to how um, you're happy for your material to be distributed. Here is where we upload the files for the content and cover. And the next page, we go to prices. So I always start with US simply because uh, these platforms are US based. And so it's just easier to start with um, their cost. Now, when you hit show additional settings, is tax included? I always say no, just because it's just safer. Effective dates. Now this means is that you can set specific prices for specific times. So if you want to set a, um, a, promo a promotion on your book where you want a lower price for a specific time, then here is where you would come to um, make different prices for different times. Now... When you hit review and publish, it gives you all of the different information for you to review and finalize. And you can see uh, the book price has been set to $3.99 USD and it is available worldwide. You can also select individual countries if you prefer. You also have the effective prices so here it shows you um, exactly what it's going to show as in different countries and um, just like your google like on draft digital you're able to choose uh, different prices for different sections so I usually get in and mirror all of the same prices that were that I logged on to draft to digital just to make sure that um, wherever people are in the world no matter what platform they're purchasing from it's the same price 
uh, across all of those platforms because uh, costing discrepancies can be very confusing to um, purchases and you want it's something that I very much prefer to avoid. So you go through and you put in all of the different prices that you would prefer across all of the different currencies that you'd prefer. So I usually do um, USD, AUD, um, CAD, which is the US, Australia and Canada. And then I also include Euro, Great Britain Pound, uh, Yen, and then uh, the Indian Rupee, uh, Mexican Dollar, and Brazil. I'm not sure what the name of their currency is. So you need to make sure that every single time you're selecting it, you're saving and continuing before you move on. So you can see down here that you've got different prices set for all of the 66 countries that are available. Now, like before, I'm not going to hit publish because we are not ready for that yet, but um, that is all there is to it, to uploading to Google Play. Um, you do need to have your account verified before your first book goes live. So when you hit that add a book button for the first time and you upload your first book, it can take, um, they say, up to 12 business days to verify your account um, to make sure you are, in fact, a valid person, that you're entitled to a um, a partner centre account and uh, that you are, in fact, a legitimate person using that platform. And uh, it took maybe seven days when we first uploaded Valeria. And then after that, um, like these books have been instantaneous, um, as we can see. So uh, initially, you need to make sure you give yourself plenty of time before your release date to get your book uploaded for Google Books, specifically because it does take longer for that first book only. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Have a wonderful day, guys. Feel the spark.